This is Twit. Rich said, hey, Steve, thank you for all your contribution to the security community and delighted to hear you're extending your tenure to four-digit episode numbers. In episode 939, you mentioned that the GRC code signing key is sequestered in a hardware security module. I'm familiar with HSMs in, in finance and banking, but would you consider a technical teardown of what HSMs are and how they operate without exposing the contained key material for the Security Now audience? Many thanks. Rich in sunny now, Devon, UK. Oh, that's a nice question. I'm very, and Devon is not sunny, so, okay. Oh, so maybe it was a, <laughs> that's it was sarcastic. a, that's why he made a point. Oh, <laughs> It'd be like sunny uh, Seattle. Uh, yeah. Well, when uh, it is Washington. sunny, though, it's such a red letter day. I could see why he might sign it that way. It's like a big deal. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So Rich's question, of course, followed nicely from Chris's. So the idea is simplicity itself. The particular key I use came from Digicert, already containing the code signing key oh. I obtained from them. That's cool. Now, that was that was several years ago. And I've since updated it several times. What's significant is that the signing key, the, 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 the signing keys which this little dongle stores are right only. This little appliance, and this is true of HSMs on any scale, lack the ability to divulge their secrets. They don't, they just don't have it. Once a secret has been written and stored in the device's non-volatile memory, very much like a, a little memory stick, it can be used, but it cannot be divulged. And this brings us to the obvious question. How can the key be used without it ever being divulged? The answer is that the, this HSM is not just storage for keys. It contains a fully working cryptographic microcomputer. So when I want to have some of my code signed, the signing software outside of the HSM creates a 256-bit SHA-256 cryptographic hash of my code. Then the resulting 32 bytes of the code's hash are sent into the HSM where they're encrypted using its internal private key, which never leaves. It can't leave. There's no read key command. It all, all you can do is give it something to do and it does it. So the 32 bytes of the, of the, of the hash of my code are sent into the key and the encrypted result is returned. So, the whole point of this is that all the work is done inside the HSM by the HSM and only the encrypted result is returned. There is no way for the key to ever be extracted from the hardware dongle. It doesn't have any read key command, only write key. And just to complete a statement of this entire process, that the so-called signature that's then attached to my code is the matching public key, that is the public key that matches the private key inside the dongle. So it's the matching public key, which has been signed by a, a trusted root certificate authority, in my case, by Digicert. So when someone downloads and wishes to verify the, the, the signature of my code, that they, the, the signature of its attached public code signing key is first checked to verify that the public key was signed by Digicert. So that, ver that, that, that verifies the Digicert's assertion that this public key belongs to GRC. Um, then that public key is used to decrypt that encrypted hash, which is the signature. And the private key can only correctly decrypt the hash if the hash was encrypted by its, by its matching private key, which GRC has and which is embedded in that HSM. So then the, 
the 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 rest of the code that was downloaded is hashed with SHA-256, and that hash is compared to the decrypted hash, which the 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 private key decrypted. Only if they match do we know a whole bunch of things. We know that the GRC's matching private key encrypted the code and that because the hashes match, not one single bit of the code has changed. Otherwise, there, the, the hashes would never match. So although this whole process does have a bunch of moving parts, when everything lines up, it works. It's quite clever. And That's quite clever. It is yeah. really clever. I'm yes. thinking about, so you, I, I don't know, there must be some analogy we can use to describe this. Essentially, the key knows who you are, but uh, it has a secret of yours that only the key has and will never reveal, but it can use that secret to create now public keys, which it can then send out into the real world. Uh, and then somebody getting that public key, this is how public key crypto works, getting that public key can knows that it's you because the public key can only be created by somebody who knows your secret in effect, Correct. right? That's how I log into my SSH server, which is yep. it has my public key it doesn't have my private key. Only I have my private key. So when I log in with SSH, SSH says, yeah, this is him because the public key matches the private key, which only I have. And then they've added this really nice additional feature because you still need this hash of your code to verify the code's not been modified. So they right. take that hash, they, I guess, hash it, right, with your with your well, public key or... Well, so yeah, so so they, they take the, the hash. I take the hash when I'm publishing this. Right. And I en I encrypted the hash ah, with my private key. You've encrypted it, so it only can be decrypted by you, essentially by yeah, some by no, your. Key. No, it's encrypted by me, but it can only be decrypted by the public by key. The public key. Got it. And the public key is signed by Digicert, right. attesting that it's GRC's public key. Very clever. That's a nice system. It's I like beautiful. That. That's taking yeah. the kind of the the simple public key crypto I use to do my SSH and adding this additional feature that it verifies some code. Yes. You could do that and when you other... download code from open source, you download uh the code but you'll also download a hash that match needs to match the key that is the public key that is posted uh, on the key servers to make sure that that developer did write this code and it's unmodified. So we right. see that all the time without this uh without this uh, certificate thing. Um, right, yeah. and 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 the, the the nice thing for Windows users is if you if you right click on the file and bring up it, it, the, the little property dialog, one of the tabs up there will say digital signature, and so you're you're able to to click on it and it sh it says you know this signature has been verified nice. and it shows who signed it. And so, so it, so it makes, shows digit, digit cert in this case. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so not only does Windows itself, you know, all of Windows wacky security stuff see that a valid signature uh, uh, signed the code, w w w which tends to calm down Windows antiviral knee-jerk reactions. But then the user is able to easily see who signed it themselves at, a, at Very any nice. time. Very and nice. It's, it's just a slick system. Public key crypto is amazing. It's brilliant. Yeah, it is so cool. Oh, hey, that's a really nice iPhone you have there. You totally picked the right color. Hey, since you do use an iPhone and maybe use an iPad or an Apple Watch or an Apple TV, well, you should check out iOS Today. It's a show that I, Micah Sargent, and my co-host Rosemary Orchard host every Tuesday right here on the Twit Network. It covers all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, Watch OS, iPad OS. It's all the OSs that Apple has on offer. And we love to give you tips and tricks about making the most of those devices, checking out great apps and services, and answering your tech questions. I hope you check it out. <laughs> 